Today we'll be using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool to download the crash data contained in this airbag control module. This ACM was removed from a 2007 Toyota Yaris and we'll be showing you the benchtop direct to module download method. As mentioned, this ACM was removed from a 2007 Toyota Yaris. We'll also need to know the vehicle identification number or VIN of the vehicle the ACM was removed from. As with any download, we'll start by looking up the 2007 Yaris in the CDR software help file. We'll need to verify that the 2007 Yaris is CDR supported. We'll need to determine the hardware components needed to perform a direct module download and check to see if there are any notes applicable to the 2007 Yaris. Open the CDR software and click on the vehicle cable lookup icon. A window will open with CDR supported manufacturers. Click on Toyota. A window will open with supported Toyota models. Click on Y for Yaris. Locate the table applicable to the model year of the vehicle you're working with, in this case 2007. We see that the 2007 Yaris is CDR supported and the ACM is the only system containing EDR data to download. We'll need to know what hardware components are needed to perform our download. Start by determining which interface module to use by referring to the vehicle interface column. As you can see, we can use either the CAN Plus interface module or the CDR900. The recovered data will be the same regardless of which interface module you choose to use. We'll be performing a direct module download, so we'll need to check the D2M Connect column to determine which connection cable or adapters to use. If using the CAN Plus interface module, we'll need to use the FOOK 108613 direct to module cable and it indicates that no adapter is required. If using the CDR900, it indicates to click on the hyperlink and use the same direct to module cable as indicated for the CAN Plus module. Click on the hyperlink. A connection diagram appears indicating that we will need to use the legacy cable adapter to connect the direct to module cable to the main interface power cable of the CDR900. We'll be using the CDR900 to perform our download, but we'll show the connection process for the CAN Plus interface module as well. As with any direct to module download, we'll also need the CDR AC power supply to supply power to both the interface module and to the ACM. Open the CDR software program on your computer. It's very important that the ACM be secured to your work surface with a clamp or similar device. The ACM has no idea it has been removed from the vehicle. Once 12 volt power is supplied for downloading, any sudden movement could trigger another event to be recorded which could possibly overwrite the data you're attempting to retrieve. Connect the USB-B end of the CDR900 USB cable to the bottom USB port on the CDR900 and the other end to an open USB port on your computer. You can skip this step if you're using the optional wireless communication feature. Connect the legacy cable adapter to the CDR900 main interface power cable. Connect the direct to module cable to the legacy cable adapter and tighten the thumb screws. Now, carefully insert the direct to module cable into the connection port on the ACM. Connect the CDR power supply to the power socket on the main interface power cable. The amber light should illuminate indicating that the CDR900 is receiving power from the power supply. This process also supplies power to the ACM at this point. If using the CAN Plus interface module, connect the 9-pin serial end of the gray USB cable to the PC port on the CAN Plus module and the other end to an open USB port on your computer. Next, connect the direct module cable to the vehicle port on the CAN Plus module and carefully insert the connector into the corresponding port on the ACM. Plug the CDR power supply into the power socket on the CAN Plus module. The green LED should illuminate indicating the CAN Plus module is receiving 12 volt power. The ACM is also powered up at this point. Now we're ready to start our download. Click on the new file icon on the toolbar. Select the vehicle brand you're working with, in this case Toyota. You must manually enter the VIN when performing a direct module download. The read VIN from vehicle function will not work. Manually enter the VIN and select done. Enter the username, the case number, the imaging date, and the crash date. These fields will be hard-coded into the CDR data file and cannot be changed once the file has been saved. Enter the information and select Done. 
A window will open allowing you to enter any comments you wish. This field is editable in the future. Enter your comments and select Done. Click on the airbag icon. The status of the download will be indicated as CDR makes three separate passes of the data contained in the ACM. The download process typically only takes a minute or two. Once the download is complete, you will be asked if you want to save the recovered data. Select Yes. You can create a file name and select where to save the file on your computer. Once you've done that, select Save. The raw CDR data file, or .cdrx file, has now been saved to your computer. A translated CDR report of the file will automatically appear. And that's how to perform a benchtop direct-to-module download using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool.